it's good to be kind. Hello everyone, welcome to part two. To continue, what I want to say is that I dropped that. <laughs> to continue um why i think people are so kind to each other is because they know how it feels like to be treated in a way that makes them feel really bad about themselves or about like the world around them these days people are just not that nice and i just want you guys to remember that it doesn't matter who it is, or what they believe in, what political party they're from, what where they're from. It's just that, be kind. Because kindness goes a long way. I, I'm speaking from experience. So like, even just helping out one person can make a difference because when you help someone out, it makes them feel so good about themselves. Because then it reminds people that, oh, there are still people who care about each other in this world even though there's so much going on and that people aren't being nice or like and even if it's online and you mean it as a joke sometimes not everyone gets that and it's like making fun of each other all the time teasing people oh it's what blank and blank thanks because they're that or this and oh, shoot his head stuck uh, okay i'll I used to do this with my teeth to take off heads, but I don't want to do that because that's gross. And with Corona, that would not be setting a good example. Oh my gosh. It comes with a satchel for Okino. This is the guy. He's double. He has two faces. Isn't that cute? There we go. I got it on without having to take off his head. Wonderful. It is hot in here. And I'm kind of sweaty. Trousers. There's not much to be said to think about it. It's just, people call this the golden rule here in the States. I think it's just in the States, I don't know. But they say, treat others how you want to be treated. And another thing that you should remember is to have patience. I know the world is like crazy right now. There's a lot of stuff going on. People are dying left and right. But um, you just have to remember to not let that get to you, even though, yeah, it's going to make you upset. It's going to bother you. And like pol politics and all that stuff, especially here in the States, is getting very heated at this time because election is coming up in a few months and voting. Is so just be patient with the world, especially because it's a busy place and it's full of a lot of different people from different places areas not everyone is like you not everyone can think like you everyone is different and it's just important to remember that patience is a virtue <laughs> it's very i can't think of the word what is it i don't overused overrated i don't know but it's overused but it's true patience is so incredibly important because it can get you through tough times. You like, sometimes you feel like you can't do something or like, oh, you can't study this long because it's too hard. But then if you're patient and you go through with it, it helps you get through it. It helps you complete that task and not get frustrated about it and like start throwing things or like getting angry at the paper. You know, patience is amazing to have. That's something that I learned from a lot of different shows, especially if you're like, if you watch Asian shows, I think mostly like Chinese or something, right? There's, they have a bunch of proverbs or proverbs, however you call it, and they're actually very helpful. <laughs> it's good to know things, like, you know, because it, it broadens your mind, it really does. And it helps you know more things about the world or like what people think in different places. And it's good to stay informed. And I forgot his armor. And another thing to remember is to take care of people, you know, take care of each other, you know, check in on them. Maybe give someone a call. Just do something nice that makes, it'll make you feel good. And it'll make the person on the receiving end feel great too because then it makes them remember that. 
oh, people care about me in this world, and it'll make you feel great, because then you'll think back about that, and you'll be like, oh, I made so-and-so feel great, and that makes me so happy, because... Because it shows that you care about someone or something. It's good to be kind. Sometimes, yeah. I know some people, they don't like caring for people because it can be tedious or like they're in a mood and they don't feel great at that time. But think before you act. Does that, is this necessary? Does that person deserve to be my outlet of emotions? Sometimes I do that too. I know it's hard to like, keep your emotions in track and remember that that person that you're talking to doesn't deserve to be treated like that or to be yelled at. The internet these days is also a dangerous place because I heard that there's a um, what you call it. I don't know. My English is being is terrible right now because I'm learning. I'm trying to learn two different languages, Chinese Mandarin, because of my brother, so that we can speak it to each other and so that we can help each other learn it but it's not easy it's very difficult wow okay um, so this is going to be his nunchucks not a nunchuck it's like a lance i think it's what was i saying before the internet is a dangerous place lately i've heard that there are accounts on instagram especially where if you tap on their account they can like download something somehow attains your information i'm not sure how i read it somewhere don't believe everything you say though because sometimes it's not true people just say it to scare you and then you find out in the end that oh i was all that i used all that caution for nothing always check your facts gosh is this the right piece i don't think so the one in the instruction looks smaller but i don't see a smaller one that looks like that uh, tiny pieces are so hard to find. Um, I don't know. I think it's a market. Of course it's a market. It's literally the name of... Oh my gosh. I'm trying to think of something lighthearted to say because I know that it's been a difficult year. This year has been the most difficult. And you know how everyone says, oh, 2012 was the worst, or like, this year is the year of all terrible years, in my opinion. All that stuff that's going on just makes people riled up, and it makes people just want to do things that they wouldn't normally do. I hope you guys are doing well out there, whoever's watching this. I know, I don't, people probably won't watch this, but it doesn't matter, as long as you're doing it, because you like it, right? Fitness, that's what I was thinking. Right now, since I know a lot of people are mostly at home, remember that staying fit and active, not you don't even have to be fit, just like stay active, that will help you so much because it improves your, I heard the door creak. Exercising helps your mood immensely because it, like uh, what it does is, um, um, <laughs> it, uh, it like um, releases certain chemicals in your brain that helps to boost your mood. Like, um, Dopamine, I think, that's like something that helps you concentrate. That's released when you work out or like you're active. And that is great because it stops your mood swings and it helps you feel great after a workout. I know sometimes workout, working out is very hard, but it's incredibly great for your body. And I think you guys should try it. Just try something new. That's what I did. It's helped me so much. <laughs> Quarantine has changed me a lot. Like, um, I work out almost every day now to keep myself feeling better. It's good to work out. Maybe working out isn't for all people, I guess. Like, at least try and take a walk for an hour. They say that it's good to have at least one hour of active activity, activity every day. This does not, I was one by one off. Oh yeah, this year I heard that Flu shots may become mandatory, but they're waiting that the, around like December, they're gonna have that figured out. Why is this not looking right? Oh no! I think I did something wrong. 
Mine doesn't look like, uh, hold on. 